Hi there everyone and welcome to this video. Today we will be talking about some of the uh, actions that we can use within Business Central um, to open or edit um, data within Excel. Um, so I'm just going to jump uh, from my home page to my customers list to uh, demo some of this functionality. So let me just come up to customers and um, we just um, are presented with my uh, customer list in my demonstration environment. Now, what I can do here is just click the um, little share icon um, up on the top right hand side here. And I've got a few different options available to me. Bear in mind, you can limit the options that you see here using permission sets. So um, I'll show you that a little bit later, um, but today we're going to be focusing on the open in Excel and the edit in Excel. Um, so let me just use the open in Excel option first here. Um, and very simply, what this will do is let me just press open on my downloads bar there. Um, it will open in Excel the um, existing view that we have open. So let me just say enable editing on that, sorry. I'll expand it and you can see here that I've got a list of customers exactly the same as what we saw in BC, right? So uh, I'll just close that down for a minute here. I'm not going to save. And what I'll show you here is that you can filter before you open in Excel as well, right? So let me just say filter to this value. So uh, in BC, again now on my uh, customers list, uh, we are filtered to um, records on the customer table um, that are equal to 10,000. So it's customer 10,000, a datum corporation. And I can go ahead again and say open in Excel. And this time what I should get is my filtered list in Excel. Okay, so I'll just say enable editing on that. I'll expand it and you'll see that this time we've just got um, a single record for customer 10,000 in my Excel view. So quite important there, if you want to filter the data, um, let me just not save that. So if you want to filter the data um, before you open in Excel, um, you are able to do that. And basically you'll get an export of the filtered list that you exported to Excel in your Excel view. Okay, so everything we've done so far has just been around opening Excel. Okay, um, and what this does is it gives you an Excel spreadsheet which is disconnected from your business central environment in that if you were to change the Excel spreadsheet, it doesn't change anything in business central. It's basically a snapshot of the page that you exported at that point in time. So that's very simply the open in Excel. Um, so what does the edit in Excel uh, function here do? Well, if I click um, edit in Excel, I'll just say open again there and uh, just wait for that to, uh, to load up here. And what we will get is uh, another Excel spreadsheet. So I'm just going to enable editing on there. Uh, but what will happen this time is let me just expand this out. You'll notice that I've got the uh, Microsoft Dynamics um, connector here on the right hand side um, and what this has also done here is it's exported my filtered list to Excel right so uh, we had a filter on for customer 10,000 you see I only have customer number 10,000 um, but here on the right hand side this time we've got a little dynamics connector which um, bear in mind you may have to install this um, on your Excel um, so it may not be installed on your Excel uh, the first time that you try this. Um, you know, it could it could also be blocked by sort of the the admin um, in 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 your uh, organisation. So it's just something to to check basically. Um, and one of the other things to mention here is that you do need to sign in. Um, so I'm signed in with my demonstration account here. I did that before um, I jumped on this uh, video recording. Uh, but it's just a normal sort of Office 365 login type page, um, just so that, you know, BC knows who is trying to edit in Excel, and, you know, it can identify if they in fact have permissions to do that. And, uh, you know, just need to log in with the user that we have, um, the username that we have 
that we usually use to log into BC. Um, so I'll just talk through this um, Microsoft Dynamics um, connector here. Um, if I go on the little settings cog here, I can see a whole load of information. Um, but what I can do here is I can drop down and I can change my environment. So I can go from production into NL test, test or sandbox, which are my, uh, my test environments, my sandbox environments. And equally, I can change my company here. So I'm currently in Cronus UK Limited, and that's because when I said I wanted to edit in Excel, that was the company that I was logged into, right? So if I go into, for example, blank company and press OK here, it's just going to tell me that um, the app needs to be reloaded. So I'm going to say yes. And what that will do is it will load my customers list from my blank company. And you'll notice now I don't have any customers in there. Um, but it's just to show you I can change companies there. So I'm going to go back to Cronus UK Limited. Let me say OK and yes again. And I'm not too sure. I've got a bit of a, it's like a half dialogue box. So I'm not too sure what's happening there. Um, apologies for that. Um, anyway, coming down to um, the, the other area here. Now, what we can do is we can add um, new records in here. You know, so I can add... Uh, a new customer here if I want to. I can refresh the uh, the data source, you know, so people might be changing the customers list um, in the background here whilst I'm working on this spreadsheet and we might want to see an up-to-date version of that. Um, so we can hit refresh. Um, we can publish some changes to our BC environment. And then I can also go into um, filtering to add some filters. So see it's showing me the filter here. I can also clear my filter from here as well. Um, it looks like that's not letting me clear it. It's because I added it from BC. Apologies, I'll, I'll have to clear that in BC. And I can also go into design experience here, which we'll, uh, we'll cover off in, a, in another video. So what I'm going to do is let me close this, um, this spreadsheet down, and I'm just going to remove my filter, and I'm going to go edit in Excel again. And just going to do some quick changes in the Excel workbook that we're in just to show you how this works. So uh, I'll just wait for that to uh, open up again. And let's go enable editing. And you see here it's refreshing data this time because we've got a bit more data could take a while to load up. But now we have all of our records. OK. Um, and first thing to mention here is obviously you can't change all of the fields that we have here. So I'm on the balance LCY, you know, so this is a field which is uh, calculated by Business Central in the background based on, you know, your customer ledger entries. And you can see here that it's giving me a, a, a notification here to say that it's a read only field. I can't edit that value. So uh, just rest assured you can't change, you know, something that, that, that you wouldn't be uh, you wouldn't be able to in BC otherwise. Um, but what we'll do is let me go into search name here and I'm just going to overwrite the search name with test one, two, three. And then once I've done that, I can literally go in and I can say publish. And you can see at the bottom there, it's now telling me publish successful workbook updated. Okay. So if I jump back into BC, I go into customer 10,000. I should have the search name field. Apologies, no, I don't. Let me just do a zoom and I will search for the search name. And you can see that we've got the search name changed to test one, two, three. Okay, and it's literally that simple. So you can change whatever information within your Excel spreadsheet. And um, that will basically allow you to um, change whatever you want to. Um, and this is good for, you know, if you want to do um, sort of mass updates to, let's say, something like, uh, I don't know, country region code, payment terms code, email addresses. Um, you can change basically anything that you would otherwise have permissions to change um, in your business central environment. Now, just a thing to mention here that you can hide these columns, you know, so you might not want to, uh, you might not want to see 
all of these columns here so I can hide some of this information and I can still change the data and I can publish that information to um, our Business Central environment. So if I just change the name, I'll just show you that this works to test 456 of our Adatum Corporation. I'll just say publish and see again, it says publish successful. And if I go into BC, I'll just hit F5 and we can see that the name changes to test 456. So what you, you cannot um, delete columns in your Excel spreadsheet here, okay? So what I'll go ahead and do here is just unhide my fields this time. Um, and what I'll now do is I will delete uh, two of the columns here. So I'll delete responsibility center and service zone code, right? So two random fields there, I've just picked those to delete. And I just wanna show you now that if I try to update some information here and say publish, and uh, it's just telling me here that changes made to read only fields will be reverted, continue. And basically we're getting um, a bit of errors here. So you'll see there was an error publishing. It has not published that information back into Business Central. So if I go back into BC here, I'll press F5 on my keyboard and you'll see that the name remains as test 456. Um, so it's just something to be careful with there, guys, that if you uh, if you um, remove some of the columns from your Excel spreadsheet, um, that will break that Excel spreadsheet and its connection to Business Central. But of course, you can just go in and say edit in Excel, download another template of uh, the page that you're on, and that will allow you to continue editing in Excel. Um, and you can also add new records. I won't show you that in, uh, in go in and add a new record, or you can literally just come to the bottom here and add a new record as you see fit. I won't, um, I won't show you that on the screen. Um, and just a, another note here to mention that the edit in Excel and the open in Excel functionality is available in most pages in Business Central. So you can come along to the vendors list, you can open, you can edit in Excel. You can do it on journal pages as well, you know, so if you had a big journal that you wanted to upload, um, you can use the edit in Excel functionality to do that. Um, and just one other thing that I wanted to show was the permission sets, right? So if I go to permission sets here, you can use permission sets to stop the editing, um, um, uh, uh, stop users, uh, stop users being able to edit in Excel, um, or you can you can grant them permission to do that based on the permission sets here. So I've just searched for Excel on my permission sets here. Um, and I just encourage you to have a play um, with those. And uh, what, what some of these will do is they will remove the edit in Excel action or they will add the edit in Excel action to the user's page. So uh, I won't show you that one today, but have a play in a sandbox environment. Okay, so that's everything I wanted to show you. I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next one.